Example number four, we have four different functions. Um, they're all going to follow kind of a similar pattern, but we want to integrate. I'm going to go through these rather quickly. Um, feel free to pause, um, go back if you need to see something again. So we want to integrate this thing, um, 3x squared plus 1 over x cubed plus x. When I look at this, what I recognize is this function on the bottom is one degree more than the function on top. So if I use this for my u, when I take du, I'm going to get one degree less. So that should work out okay. So u is x cubed plus x, which is going to make du 3x squared plus 1 dx, which is perfect. That's exactly what I have right there. So this becomes 1 over u times du. And then when we integrate that, we just get natural log of u plus c. And then we're going to plug our x back in. x cubed plus x. All right, let's check out the next one. Um, again, there's the bell. When I look at this, I see that tangent x, the derivative of tangent, is secant squared. So if I pick this for my u, that's going to take care of that secant squared. So a lot of this is knowing your derivatives and recognizing some patterns. But if we let u be tangent x, then du is secant squared x dx, which is exactly what you have here. So this becomes 1 over u du. You integrate natural log of u plus c and then plug back in. All right, let's check out C. Um, again, I am recognizing the same thing here, that my denominator is a degree higher than my numerator. So if I pick this for my u, when I find du, that should take care of the top. You don't ever want to have du in the denominator anyway, so just kind of put that out there. So let's see, u is x squared plus 2x, which makes du 2x plus 2. Now, I don't have 2x plus 2, I have x plus 1. But if I take this and factor out a 2, now I've got that x plus 1 dx. So all I need to do is divide by 2, move that 2 over. So I get du over 2 is equal to x plus 1 dx. And I can replace all of this with du. So that's going to give me 1 over u times du over 2. Pull that 1 half out. Integrate to get the natural log of u. And then we'll plug back in. Hey, you know what? When I put this back in here, x squared plus 2x. Oh, yeah. That's all. I'm going to need the absolute value. Sometimes you might get a problem where if it was just like x squared and you knew it was going to be positive, you could ditch the absolute value, but um, not yet, not for that one. All right, um, let's see, let's try this next one. Again, we're going to try and make that our u, 3x plus 2. I'm just going to make du 3dx. I don't have a 3dx, I just have a dx, so we'll divide that over here. So we get 1 over u, du over 3, factor out that 1 third, integrate, and then plug back in. All right. In the last video, we're gonna, I'm going to show you a couple of little tricks um, that will make problems easier so you don't get kind of mired in some junk. So looking forward to clip number three.